Pixverse V3 is here, and it's revolutionizing video generation. In this tutorial, we'll dive deep into its incredible features, from text to video magic to animating your own images. Prepare to be amazed as we explore the future of video creation with Pixverse. Hi everyone, my name is Iman, and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube Channel. A few months ago, when hardly anyone knew about Pixverse, I created a comprehensive tutorial on it that got a lot of views and caught many of your attentions. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you check it out. The link is in the description of this video. Now with pride, I present to you my second Pixverse tutorial. By watching the previous tutorial and comparing it with this one, you'll better understand the differences between Pixverse latest version, V3, and the previous one. In this new tutorial, we'll explore the features of Pixverse V3 together and examine its advancements. At the end of this tutorial, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Can Pixverse AI carve out a place in the video generation field, alongside giants like Runway, Sora, and Hyluo? Share your opinions in the comments. I read every comment and replied to each one. Let's start by visiting the Pixverse AI website. It's been redesigned with a modern look, completely different from the previous, rather plain version. By clicking on various points on Pixverse homepage, you can see captivating animations and videos generated by this AI. This interactive feature, unlike anything else I've seen, offers a unique and enjoyable experience, giving me a strong sense of the incredible change Pixverse V3 represents. I'm genuinely excited to see if video generation in this version is as different and thrilling as its website. With great anticipation, I click on the Try Pixverse button in the top right corner. The sign in and registration page opens. You can sign up or log in using Apple, Discord, or Google accounts. I choose sign in with Google, select one of my Gmail accounts that's already open in the browser, and log in. The V3 interface is delightful. The user profile option is accessible in the top right corner of the site. As of the release of this tutorial, creating an account and visiting the site for the first time grants me 130 free tokens to use for video generation. This may change in the future, so please don't hold me accountable if it does, I'm letting you know right from the start. I value transparency and make honesty with my audience my top priority. By clicking on the token count icon, I'm taken to the AI's plan page. As you can see, we're on the free and basic plan. This plan grants 100 credits as a sign-up gift, with no additional top-up, plus 30 credits as a daily recharge. If this amount of credit isn't enough for you, you'll need to upgrade, and the next plan costs $8 per month. But before upgrading, I recommend fully testing this AI and using up all your free account credits to see if it's worth it. After that, decide if this AI is worth the investment. Pixverse isn't sponsoring me, by the way. Let's return to the home page. In the Discover section, creations generated by users with this AI are displayed. By clicking on them, you can view the videos in full size. You can even see the prompts used to generate the videos and copy them to generate new results. To generate my first video with Pixverse V3, I go to the Create page. At the bottom of the Create page, there's a text box for entering prompts. A prompt essentially captures your ideas in text form. Try to express your ideas clearly so that even someone with no prior knowledge can understand your vision. Include details in your prompts, like items in the scene, emotions, colors, character movements, physical expressions, background and foreground elements, location, time, and even camera movements, so that the AI can fully grasp your idea. The more information you include in your prompt, the better the AI can understand and turn your vision into a video or image. You can even use other AI tools, like ChatGPT, Google Gemini, or Claude, to help craft your prompt. I paste the pre-written prompt into the text box. Beneath the prompt box are new items that are very useful for video generation. The first item is for selecting the video generation model. At this point, we have two choices, versions 2.5 and 3, and naturally, I choose the latest version. The next item is for applying preset effects, like out of frame, zombie mode, monster invades, and a few others, which can be applied to video generation. 
For now, I'll skip this to see Pixverse raw video generation power, but we'll explore these effects in future tutorials. The next option allows us to apply one of three styles, anime, 3D animation, or clay. I've tested all three, and while they all work well, the anime style performed the best for me. If you want to create anime, I definitely recommend this option. The next item is for setting the duration, where we can choose between 5 and 8 seconds for the video length. In 5 seconds, it uses up 30 tokens, and in 8 seconds, it uses 60 tokens. For this case, I set it to 5 seconds. Under quality, we can choose between HD and SD. I don't know why anyone would choose SD these days, but it's there. If you know, let me know. The next item, aspect ratio, lets you choose between square, landscape, or portrait ratios. If you're creating videos for social media like Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or even YouTube, this setting can be very useful. Since I only create content for YouTube, I chose the 16 to 9 ratio. Next, the motion setting offers normal and performance options. Here, I'm using the normal option. I'll test performance in future examples to see how it compares to normal. The character panel will also be covered in another tutorial as it requires more time. By clicking on additional settings, we access the negative prompt feature, where we can specify elements we don't want in the scene. After setting everything up, I click create. My request goes into the queue, and in a very short time, the text prompt is transformed into a video, and I can view the result in a video frame. The quality of the text-to-video process by Pixverse V3 is astonishing, and I'm blown away. The image quality and item movements far exceed the videos I created with the older version of this AI. V3 is a massive leap for Pixverse AI. The scene is incredibly cinematic, with no glitches or unnatural behavior visible. Pixverse V3's improvements in turning text into video are remarkable, and it seems to be pushing new boundaries in content creation. Without this AI, Creating such a scene with various software and expensive hardware would take days or weeks. But now, with a single text prompt and even in the free plan, we have a fully Hollywood-worthy scene at our fingertips. With these text-to-video AIs, Hollywood is now at home. So, do you think the rise of text-to-video and animation AIs signals the end of Hollywood? Another feature now available is the Extend option below the video frame. This option lets you extend the scene as long as you have enough tokens. By clicking Extend, you can even add a new scenario and input it into the text box. For this new scenario's duration, you can again choose between 5 or 8 seconds to increase the video length. By clicking back, I exit the Extend mode. Below the video frame, there's a download button to save the MP4 file to your device. Another feature Pixverse offers is Image to Video. If you have a personal photo of yourself, loved ones, family, friends, or acquaintances, get it ready, we're going to animate it and bring it to life. You can also use art generators like Leonardo to create images with text prompts. I covered the process of creating AI images with Leonardo in previous tutorials, so check out the playlist on my channel to get familiar with how these art generators work. After creating the image, we return to Pixverse. In the bottom left corner of the text box, there's an image icon. I click on it, choose the image I want to animate, and upload it. Once uploaded, the image thumbnail appears in the bottom left corner of the prompt box, and you can even view it in full size by clicking on the thumbnail. Want to bring your images to life? Simply write a prompt to tell the AI what should happen in the scene and which parts to animate. Imagine you have a character in your image, you can ask the AI to make them talk, smile, show excitement, or even display sadness or anger. You could also ask it to make the character move, like walk, work out, or dance energetically. Or maybe you'd like it to rain, the wind to blow, or even a storm to form in the scene. The exciting part is that there are no limits. Any idea you have can come to life, as the only boundary is your imagination and the words you use in your prompt. After writing the prompt and specifying your needs, I click create. My request goes into the queue, and within moments, the image animates according to the text prompt transforming into a video that I can view in a video frame. The results of Pixverse V3's image-to-video process are stunning, and I'm genuinely amazed. Pixverse V3's performance is truly impressive. Without this AI, animating an image like this would require days or even weeks. But now, with just one text prompt and in the free plan, we have an unimaginable scene at our disposal. Did this tutorial help you out? 
Show some love with a like and share it with your friends. This is just the beginning. There's a ton more where that came from. If you're looking to dive into the world of AI, you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a thing. Remember, AI is the future, so let's embrace it together. See you in the next tutorial.